Listen to me carefully. I'm not going to let you ruin her life just because you feel like it. Do you understand me? And what is it that you're willing to do to prevent it? Whatever it takes. The only way I can get Lucretia out of this huge dilemma is to give in and marry Lorena. You're not thinking of committing the very same mistake made by Lucretia, marrying someone you don't no, love, No, of course not, no. But I'm desperate, father. So you finally admit that you're guilty of meddling in our affairs when no one asks you to do so? Yes, I admit it. I made a big mistake. I should not have said anything at all. What kind of a priest are you, huh? You are not even able to keep one simple secret. What is it to you anyway? And what's more, you don't move a finger for her. Just let her sink. I can never forget how you looked at me. I didn't know you were good friends. Um, we've known each other for a long time. It's obvious. For nothing but a cheap, worthless servant. <gasps> Tell me, why did you go and visit home? None of your business at all! You want him for yourself, don't you? You want to corrupt that innocent man by seducing no, him? No, that's what you were doing, Renata. <clears throat> you were behind me, you followed me, and you said you'd make sure my baby would never be born! Everything she just said is a blatant lie. It was you who admitted to me then that if Julian was ever going to leave you, you would do harm to your unborn child, and you'd say I was responsible for it. And just what makes you think that I'm <sighs> capable of doing that? Me kill my own baby? Me put my own life at risk? You killed the child that your mother was carrying when you pushed her down the stairs, and remember? And you shut up! Shut up! Oh my god! Quiet down, will you? Let me go! Let me go! <laughs> Impecable.